The Colorado River is in worse shape than most people realize, and we need to deal with it as soon as possible. Hi, I'm Joe from Utah Rivers Council, and this is Liquid Courage, a no bullshit series about water in Utah. Today, we're talking about the dire state of the Colorado River, which supplies water to 40 million people. Climate change is warming up our winters and making them shorter, so the snowpacks which feed the Colorado River are steadily shrinking. This is why the river's flows have dropped an average of 20% over the last 25 years compared to their 20th century average. On top of this, new pipelines and reservoirs have been built to divert even more of the river's water. Decreasing supply from climate change and increasing diversions have resulted in a shrinking Colorado River. This has caused Lake Mead and Lake Powell, America's two largest reservoirs, to fall to record low levels over the last few years. Recently, many news stories have suggested that the ongoing negotiations over the interim guidelines will solve these problems. The interim guidelines dictate who takes water cuts in the Colorado River Basin as specific reservoirs decline, but these negotiations won't resolve the issue. That's because the volume of water cuts being discussed simply aren't large enough to address the demand imbalance. The 20% reduction in Colorado River flows we've seen from climate change is only the beginning, and the river could eventually decline 30 or even 40% below its 20th century average. This would leave the river with only 9 or 10 million acre feet of water and 15 million acre feet of water demand. Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and other reservoirs in the basin are going to keep drying up. So we need to prepare for water shortages by halting new diversions and addressing the archaic plumbing inside Glen Canyon Dam, which will otherwise force water cuts even sooner, like we mentioned last time. The interim guideline negotiations won't solve this problem. Contact your representatives in Congress today and urge them to retrofit Glen Canyon Dam as soon as possible to avoid a generational water crisis. Visit utahrivers.org to learn more. See you next time.